He graced the sport of boxing for 62 years, first as a fighter and then as a Hall of Fame trainer. After producing 22 world champions, Eddie Futch has retired, leaving his spot in the corner of the ring. Futch trained some of the greatest to step into the squared circle. His first champion, welterweight Don Jordan. Others to succeed under Futch's influence were Alexis Arguello, Bob Foster, Michael Spinks, and Larry Holmes. It was the genius of Futch that was responsible for Muhammad Ali's first two losses, one of those coming at the hands of former heavyweight champion Ken Norton. It was Futch who told Norton in March of 1973 when Ali jabs, jab back. That strategy won Norton a 12-round decision and the heavyweight championship of the world. Ali's first loss came at the hands of smoking Joe Frazier. During Ali's exile from the sport, Futch guided Frazier to the heavyweight title. And then, on March 8th of 1971, came the first in the Ali Frazier trilogy, the fight of the century at Madison Square Garden. Futch's strategy, back Ali into the ropes, work the body, then the head, follow Ali's right uppercuts with left hooks, worked. Frazier won a 15-round decision and retained his title. Futch's most memorable moment in the ring may have come in defeat. Ali Frazier three, the thriller in Manila. This time, it was for Ali's title. After 14 brutal rounds, it was Futch, now serving as Frazier's manager and trainer, who made what many believe to be his toughest decision ever, not sending Frazier out for the 15th and final round. He was taking punches he didn't even see because his right eye was completely closed. A lot of people have tried to tell him that I shouldn't have stopped the fight. It wasn't difficult for me. Some people m might think that that's uh, is not true. It wasn't difficult for me. And the fight that Ring Magazine calls the greatest of the past 75 years was over. Ali was still the champion. <laughs> Outside of the ring, Futch's most memorable moment came when Ring Magazine named him best trainer over the past 75 years. And who else to present him with the award than his protege, Ken Norton. One thing I like to say before they start talking is that he trained me for approximately four or five years. And in that time, I learned more than I did prior or after I, I quit my career. Eddie Fudge to me is a heck of a man, heck of a trainer. He's very strict. And now that I'm bigger than you and older than you almost, <laughs> I'm going to pay you back for making me run so much. <laughs> he will always be the gentle genius in the corner of the ring, a corner that will never again be the same. <laughs>